Okay, so excuse the mess of how I look or probably actually how I feel, but yeah, everyone's out. Parents have got whoa parents have gone to uh Preston shopping, left me in the house alone. Girls are out at the zoo with grandma and I am sat doing planning on a Sunday because that's normally what I do when I have school the following week. I plan all Sunday because I found that I used to plan on a Friday night, even a Saturday. And by the time it got down to Monday, I'd forget what I've planned. The best way is to plan on a Sunday, all Sunday. So when you go into the week, it's kind of like you've not had a day of rest in between. So you just know what you're going to teach the kids for the rest of the week. Because I'm, because you should remember anyway. It's 12:02, about to break the fast. Yes, I can't wait. And yeah, this is my Sunday. Hopefully go to Starbucks a bit later. I like, like the vibe in there. Uh, and plus obviously good coffee, so why not? my number one fast breaker so I have my eggs scrambled eggs perfectly scrambled eggs on toast with my oats it's a lot of food yeah but I'm not gonna probably eat for another four hours five hours so make it big meal now small meal before the gym and then a bigger meal later at night haven't got any butter to save fat just look at it all though I'm so excited <laughs> oh. I honestly think I need to go to sleep after that. Now here's my, here's my problem with dieting and fasting. Fasting is amazing for fitting all your calories in into a short amount of time. So if you've got 2,500 calories to eat, you break your fast at 12 and you try and stop eating at about eight, you've got eight hours, including everything else to do in your day, to eat 2,500 calories, which will make you fuller because Obviously, if you have your first meal at 6 a.m. and then uh, your last meal at 8 a.m., you've got a massive gap where you'd have to fill that every three or four hours with food because you get hungry. Where, as on this, I feel really stuffed now. I probably won't eat until five o'clock. But that being said, fasting caused my first meal to be kind of dense and a binge. So I had all that food, and then I also had two digestives and a marshmallow, so like a s'mores. And that meal, all that food together, works out to be 952 calories, 100 carbs, 34 fat, and 54 protein. Now that's not a problem because it's my first meal, so then I can just go off the rest of, the, of my day off what that says, so I can change uh, certain meals that I've already programmed in, maybe reduce some carbs and some fats in certain meals, or, or increase protein, or, or whatever I need to do because I've already tracked it and that's my first meal. If that was my last meal of the day, then I'd spill over and my calories would be more than what they should be during the day. So yeah, that's all I wanted to basically say. Fasting is great for you. Uh, so fasting is great. Just be aware that maybe your first meal, because you get so hungry, you might end up binging, but don't worry about it. So I'll probably have a little nap. Oh, I'll do some milk. I'll be a sloth. And then I really want to go to Starbucks to get some really, really nice coffee. <laughs> Talk, so I've not got my mic or my stand or my brother pod. It's hard not to look at today. Look at how bright it is. I've got my flip flops on. It's, I'm sweating. You know what? It reminds me of Slovenia or Romania or Budapest. Today is a day that reminds me of a foreign country, a European country, 
it's that hot and I'm going to go and sit in Starbucks for the next God knows how long until I've done all my planning and all my schoolwork on a day like today but you cannot see a computer screen when it's sunny so that's the only reason I don't like working or doing computer work whilst it's hot but you'll see this Starbucks is absolutely So I did my maths lesson planning, so I've done English and maths lesson planning. I've still got to do one, just one lesson of science and one lesson of history because my final week, I'm not teaching then, but I would sit in there and do it some more. I feel like my caffeine content today is through the roof, my stomach hurts, and now I am hungry, so I need my pre-workout meal before I do anything else. So, we're gonna head home to get this pre-workout meal. Maybe do a little bit more work and finish off the science and history and then off to the gym, I think. <laughs> pasta whole wheat pasta some chicken a little tiny bit of light than like mayonnaise and that's gonna be my lunch slash dinner because it's almost five o'clock but i've decided that instead of sitting in my room and doing my work i'm gonna sit outside in the sun but in the shade so in the heat but in the shade so i can still see my laptop and get some work done because it's roasting yeah Taz. And that's a wrap. I've done it. Well, I've not done all of it. Uh, I think I'm still missing my science planning. Let me think. Yeah, so I've done English, maths, and history. Tomorrow's all set. I've just got science on the Wednesday, but we'll get to that on the Wednesday. That's me. It's now about half past six, so I've been doing it since about nine o'clock this morning. It's been long. I'm tired, but I know. That's why I do it on a Sunday, because I know now in my head i'm not going to forget by tomorrow what the rest of the week is going to look like now i'm feeling like i don't want to go to the gym but that's not the right decision i know that if i want to do well in this competition next month i need to get myself there and hit legs so i'm going to take a scoop pre-workout not the most sensible thing i've done because it is half past six and i probably won't get to sleep but oh well pre-workout legs and then my cardio i think it's about a three mile run i have a three mile run or just some lifts maybe 20 30 minutes on the stairmaster but i'm feeling more towards the three mile run so i can i can feel it a lot more so let's go on over to the gym <sighs> no energy at all okay so my energy is shot I'm still gonna go and hit the legs. Got my long sleeve t-shirt on, because no one likes to see how flat your arms look on leg day. My shorts on, and my tiny little chicken legs. About to hit some pre-workout right now. And this is what I normally do. You used to mix it with water, doesn't taste nice. Doesn't sit well on my stomach, so what I do is I take, some of you might find this a bit weird, but take a, a, a scoop of creatine to the dome, Oh mum. Oh, 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 oh. And then I scoop a pre-workout to the dome. At the same time, wow that's sour. I just feel it more. It doesn't sit bad on my stomach. And I feel that in about 10 minutes whilst I'm cycling, so let's go on 
to the gym. Oh my god, it's kicking in my face. It is absolutely itching. So let's go. Well, just finished the workout. I'm not gonna lie, it just wasn't the best. You know, I went in there wanting to hit legs and you know, I did hit legs, but straight off the bat, you know, I tried high bar squat, which I've never done before, but I just thought I'd give my low bar, like my lower back, a bit of a rest. I tried it, got two sets into it, ruined my back, ruined my shoulders, the skin on my shoulders. So when I switched back to low bar, it was just painful. I just, yeah, I wasn't happy with that. So that affected the whole workout. I was feeling tired and, and full and bloated. Then I started doing cardio, and it says a three mile run. Uh, and I had it on pace timing and I thought the pace when it said five I thought that was like a five minute mile and it wasn't so I got to about a mile and I thought no so I just did lifts, I did some uh, Stairmaster for about 250, 250 calories but yeah just just not the best you know it's just it's one of those days but hang on let me put this camera down the camera will die in a minute um, but I just wanted to say it before Left my mind because I was thinking about it on my cycle home. Yeah, I feel bad today, and I could have easily just had the day off the gym, but I didn't. I still went there, and the gym to me and working out is something that's going to better myself. It's going to better me. It's going to improve me and develop me as a person. Now, I just thought, and I, I need to get this across that if you are someone who wants to get fit and is sick and tired of looking the way that you look or you're unhappy with yourself, go to the gym, do something healthy, do crossfit, do running, do uh, bodybuilding if you want, do weightlifting, powerlifting, do yoga, do anything that's physical, anything that's gonna help you out, go and do it. Because at the end of the day, if you complain about the way that you look and always ask people that, it, that are fit and into fitness. Oh, how do you do that? How do you get that kind of body? I don't know how you do that. And then you go home and watch three hours of soaps or three hours of a series or a film instead of going to the gym or doing that, that physical exercise. How are you going to get better? I've got a lot of people telling me, oh, but how did you get into fitness? How did you get the body that you've got? How are you happy with yourself? And I say, well, I made sacrifices, yes. I still uh, are doing, uh, yes, I'm still doing my student year. So it's the most intense year I've ever had at uni and placements. And, you know, I wake up at six, I cycle 12 miles a day. I teach from what, eight, half eight till, till four, I plan until seven, eat, go to the gym and then come home and then do the same thing every day, do it over and over again. But I still make time for the gym. I don't watch films, I don't watch series until the weekend or I've got spare time. But I don't say I'm not going to go to the gym tonight and I'm just going to watch a series or I'm not going to do this, uh, go to the gym or read a book or do something that's going to better myself instead I'm going to go out and drink four, five, six times during the week. It's a bit of give and take. Yes, do that and drink and, and have fun and watch series and watch films because I do that all the time but I do that when I've got the time. I don't replace it with something that I know that's going to better myself and the gym to me doing it almost every day, even just a little bit, is something that's going to better you. So if you're one of these people that are, are struggling and, and, and you feel sluggish and you're not happy with yourself, just do 20 minutes, do 30 minutes. Just go for a walk at night after your food. Go for a run, do some push-ups or sit-ups or, or leg raises in your room for 30 minutes every single day. After 21 days, that's meant to be the time where it takes you to develop a new habit if you do something every day for 21 days. So do it. Right now, stop the video, don't watch anymore. Get down on the floor or go put your shoes on, do some press ups, go for a run, do something, do some yoga, go on YouTube, do some stretching, do anything that's gonna better yourself right now physically. That's all I've gotta say. I was just playing on my mind. There's a lot more. I'm gonna close that lid on that box. I'm gonna keep it for a different video when I've got my thoughts down and I can figure out what I'm gonna say and the battery's not about to die, which I think it may have died. So this is just me talking to a blank camera. Uh, that's been my Sunday. It's been a very productive, lazy-ish kind of Sunday. Uh, I do hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button. If you've not subscribed, hit the subscribe button down whichever side it is. It's just like a little me with a camera. Comment, comment and tell me what you have done right now or what you're going to do right now to better yourself for tomorrow and the day after. Okay, so 
I will see you all very soon in the next video. Bye-bye.